Hey guys, it's Ben with Myers Woodshop, and in this episode of the Dream Shop Renovation Series, we're gonna focus on shop storage, and particularly three items. And the first item is this DeWalt storage cabinets. If you didn't know, DeWalt makes storage cabinets of all kinds, rolling tool cabinets. I got a bunch here. We're gonna open them up, put them together, and line them up in the shop. After that, I have two other items, so stay tuned, and we'll see where these items go. From the boxes, you can see I have a 41 inch wide nine drawer mobile workstation, a 26 inch wide, a 52 inch wide, and a 41 inch wide. So that's what we have right here. We're gonna open these up and get them in the shop. So it comes with a key, you twist it to unlock it. This has the posi uh, latch, latching system where you lift up on the handle and it disengages the lock. And in the bottom left, we have our uh, rollers and casters with all the bolts. So we're gonna need to get all these casters out and flip it over and get them underneath so we can roll it. These are the smooth roller packs. These are some really, really, oh my goodness. These are hefty casters. They are really big. You can see they are massive. And they have an on off right here. And they're in a nice plastic rubber. And they'll roll really nice. It's more of a plastic than a rubber, but it does have some, some give to them. So let's unbox all these casters. All right, so we've got the four casters. Two of them are non swivel, two of them are swivel and these in the arms. I'm gonna to wait to install these because I can't lift the cabinet up by myself and I'm gonna to wait till a friend comes over and helps me. So we're gonna get one of the smaller ones and jump to that that I can actually move and uh, check that out. We'll come back to installing these casters. All right, I can li actually lift this one up by myself. This is DeWalt 26 inch rolling. So we're gonna see if uh, the wheels are already installed on this. I'm gonna save these boxes to move if they are a full solid box. Flip it on its back. And I'm gonna pray that there are wheels on the bottom. And this has keys as well. Get that key, open it up, and I bet the casters are in the bottom. Here's the caster, and here's the handle. All right, wheels are on this thing. I can lift her up. She rides nice. Now all I need to do is put the handle on the front here. Okay, get the handle. You gonna help me? Hold that handle. You gotta hold it up. It goes on, no, nope, it goes on the side here. Look, see those two holes? You line it up. Uh-huh. And that's it. That is the 22 inch rolling chest. Pretty nice, huh? So one of the drawers had all the drawer liners, and the bottom drawer had the top one, so we're putting that in, and Deacon's putting in the drawer liner in each drawer. You're doing a great job. Now these are soft close as well, which is really nice. So it's got the latch, you gotta pull up on the handle and it unlocks it. They fully extend. Oh, go put it backwards because the bees got to go on the other side. And they go in just like that. And there we have it. We're done. So that's the little one. We're going to get the other ones going. All right, here is all the DeWalt put together. You can see, we'll go from uh, smallest to biggest. So we got that 22, it's all together, and it's got, they're all soft clothes on all these, all these drawers. They lock as well, 
and uh, it's got the uh, kind of locking door. You gotta pull up on the handle to unlock it to get it out. So we got the 22, this is the 41. And we got another 41 with the top, top, which are really nice. They are all lined as well. And then we have the uh, closing lid. And the closing lid will lock. And once you unlock it, it's got a little latch behind it that will lock all the drawers down below and unlock them. So here's the 51. It also locks up top. It's got the, the top pieces have a power strip with two USBs on either side. Uh, this will probably be used for my battery uh, charging station, something like that. So that's all the DeWalt cases. I really like at the bottom of the drawers are really big and deep so I can store exactly what shows your power tools will actually fit in there, the uh, circular saw and such. So that's all the DeWalt storage. I'm gonna reconfigure them. They're not gonna stay here, but we're gonna figure out where they go later. But right now we're gonna go get the lev rack. That's the main feature of my wall on this side of the shop. That's gonna be my uh, paint storage. It's also gonna be my desk for the computer, all the computer work I do. So we have to go get that off the crate, uncrate it, assemble it, and then we're gonna put it on the wall. Lev rack is coming today. And an 18 wheeler down there. He called, he's not happy that he has to come to a cul-de-sac and then go up this driveway and it's 1200 pounds and he asked if i had any uh machinery that's a no <laughs> so we'll see if we can get it off and how pissed off he's gonna be so let's hope it works out here's hoping can't get it off so they're gonna take it back and i don't know if they're shipping it back to live rack or if they're uh gonna try to do a different truck but I'm just a customer here with not a forklift. So let's see what happens. So I had a package being delivered from Lebrac today and it's 1,200, 1,700 pounds on a four by eight pallet to my personal residence. And the driver called me and said, I'm coming, do you have something to take it off the truck? And I said, no, I'm just a dude at a house. And he was very sad. And he pulled up, backed all the way down my driveway. No, backed all the way down my street to the driveway. And long story short, I had to go to FedEx to pick it up on my train. Thanks, FedEx. All right, here's all of the lev rack that I got. Now, I don't just have the lev rack with the shelving. I also have a uh, desk on one side and a desk on the other. So I have a little bit more than you would usually get if you just got the shelf rolling system. So this is all the pieces. We're gonna get them out of the box. We're gonna set that thing up. Time-lapse mode. All right, this is the lev rack system. It's up. Uh, this is the normal part of the lev rack. You have these rollers up top. They slide like this. We have shelving in here, so you can get in, get to your shelving, and get out. It rolls from the top and not from the bottom, so nothing anchors to the ground, which is really nice. And then we have more shelving here and here. We can go in. These shelves are adjustable, and they do sell some accessories to make shelving uh, clothing racks, uh, bins, storage bins and stuff. And then I opted for the eight foot long table. This is where my computer and things are gonna go. This is my work table. And I still have the rack up top to be able to store things. Probably a lot of wood storage. And then down at the end, I have a four foot table. Now this four foot table is not adjustable like the eight foot. The eight foot table I can adjust because it has the rack on top. This is one size for the height but this is going to be where I keep my fiber laser and a computer to run the lasers over here and I'll have a little stool right here. So this is perfect for me in the shop. So this is my setup and uh, the lev rack system. 
you saw us, three guys were hanging on this thing. This thing is super, super stout. It goes together really easily, not super fast. The doors take a long time. You're gonna have a lot of trash. So be pre prepared for that. So that's the lever rack system. Now let's hook up the wall control. That way we're gonna have a pegboard that's metal up on our wall so we can store a lot of stuff. So the pegboard is going on the other side of the shop. So let's bring in the wall control and make that happen. All right, this is the wall we're gonna put wall control on. I have a strip right above there. I'm going to uh, put the vertical panels going across there and then wall control maybe about down to here because I'm getting a jointer that'll sit right along this wall. So we're gonna start with the vertical panels. We're gonna try to find which ones are vertical and uh, or horizontal panels at the top and then vertical below that. So here we go. Wall control's in today. I'm picking it up because they won't deliver it to my house because it's called the sack on the 18 wheeler. I'm gonna back it up and put it into the trailer like this. It'll transfer. Interesting. Now, <laughs> yeah. All right, so you can see the wall control panel is up. I have uh, 16, how many do I have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 20, 26. I have 26 panels on this wall. I may end up putting some more around the shop, but I knew that I wanted this wall to just be wall control. Um, I got some accessories we're gonna put on and we're gonna uh, put some tools on it. So let's see. Yeah, it goes up, down, in, click. All right, here's the wall control. You can see I have some of the tools that I have at this shop. I haven't moved all of them yet. Some of the tools are hanging up. So we got some drill holders, grinder holder, paper towel holder, shelving. You got a lot of assortments with this. I also have something from Wall Works. It's a different company, but it's an accessory to uh, the wall control. So let's check that out. All right, so Wall Works are just jars. So they're perfect for holding like, uh, Screw, you know, your random assortment of screws and such. So we have this little tab that goes into your pegboard like this. You push these little pins, it holds that. Then we have this uh, hook-like device that goes in and you turn it. And then we fill this jar up with our screws. And once you get your jar full, you just stick it in here and boom. It's very tight and it's not coming off. So it works with wall control or your regular pegboard because wall control has regular pegboard. So we're completely full. I'm gonna hang some screws up in this one. So that is wall works. Check them out, it's a great add-on. All right, so we got the DeWalt storage and we got the Lebrac storage and we got the wall control. That's our three storages for this video. Now I'm gonna do a bonus storage and this is gonna be human storage. So our friends over at Milemont, they sent over a futon because I need some relaxing by the fire in the shop. So let's open this thing up and set up the futon. And that's it. This is the futon. It's extremely comfortable and uh, it's adjustable. So you just pop it up like this, pop it up like that, and boom, you're in the futon mode. So, bed mode, comfortable mode, friend mode, whatever you need it to be. So thanks for watching this episode of the Dream Shop Renovation Series. 
I'll be back again. We'll install a Mr. Cool air conditioning right above me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, our friends over at Milamont. Milamont? Milamont? Okay. So thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the. Uh... Oh, let's start that over. Ben Road, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of the Dream Shop renovation series. Uh, I'll be back again with moving stuff into the shop. And uh, what am I, what's some of the other? Ah, sorry. <laughs>